Hey, what's you doing? What you doing, lady? Trying to make the camper look semi nice. For what? I don't know. For video content. <laughs> for TikTok. <laughs> Maybe. If you haven't started watching our TikTok channel, go check it out. Lindsay's got us up to almost 40,000 followers, which is awesome. It's a great way. If you get bored with a lot of Chris talking head, because I know I do that a lot, go check out TikTok. Nothing longer than 30 seconds. Lindsay's got a lot of great stuff there. That's our plug for TikTok for those of you TikTokers out there. We woke up this morning in a beautiful place. It's called Marble Canyon. There's BLM land out here. There's a couple different turnoffs. And man, you come out here, it is gorgeous. Last night, the dogs and I and Lindsay hiked out to uh, where you can see the Colorado River. It's still pretty far away, um, but we hiked out to the edge of this the uh, canyon area and looked down, and it's just it's gorgeous. Had a fantastic sunset last night. The Vermilion Cliffs, which run all the way up into southern Utah, are to our left right now. I guess to our north. We're about to head out and drive to Lee's Ferry. According to Lindsay, Lee doesn't really have a ferry. It's just called Lee's we Ferry. Used to have a ferry. We used to have a ferry. Yeah, it was a ferry for the Mormons. Why don't they call it Lee's Used to Ferry? <laughs> I don't know. Lee's Used to Ferry. So we're gonna go check out Lee's Ferry. Apparently, there's a place where you can dip your feet into the Colorado River. You have to jump off a 3,000 foot ledge to get there. No. And then you you just splash. It's deep <laughs> enough that you don't hit the the bottom, right? Yeah. So we're gonna go jump in. We're gonna go jump in to the Colorado River, the magnificent, fantastic Colorado, super famous Colorado River. Goes right through the Grand Canyon, carved it out over a long, long period of time. And any regard, let's stop talking, let's start driving. I'm gonna dip my feet in the Colorado River. You ready to take that 3,000 foot plunge? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Coming off. My legs are long enough. <laughs> I don't know if my legs are long enough. How cold is it? 47. Oh, it's icy. <laughs> this is a first. <laughs> Just found out there's uh you can go on paddleboard and kayak uh, just up river a little bit and do a multi-day trip so we'll have to add that to the maybe bucket list yeah i don't know what do you think i want to add it can you I poop it'd be awesome can you poop in the woods maybe for a day okay it's tmi unless you know us and you know Lindsay has crohn's disease so we don't get to do a lot of adventurous multi-day stuff because we need to have a proper toilet around when nature calls so Lindsay hasn't really pooped in the woods before have you would you poop in the river? <laughs> uh, maybe. <laughs> just I've, hang, just hang it over. I've peed in the ocean. Oh yeah. <laughs> now, this episode brought to you by When Nature Calls. Well, we are walking up to the Lonesome Dove Ranch. Lonely which, Dell. Lonesome Dove. No, it's the Lonely Dell. No, ranch. like the movie, like the TV series. Oh, not where we are. Lonesome Dove. No. Danny Glover. No. No. Lonely Dell. What's Lonely Dell? That's what they named it. John D. Lee and his wife Emma. So apparently there's this ranch here and it's kind of a ghost town now. And uh, we're gonna go check it out because Lindsay likes ranches and she likes ghost towns. And that's about all we know. So there's an orchard here um, that was planted, I think, by the National Park Service. I uh, could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it was. And they allow you to pick fruit. They allow you to pick uh, five gallons per person. So if you come here when the fruit's in season, I think there's like pears, apples, cherries, I don't know. We'll have to go take a look, it's right here. So.
No, Lindsay, don't do it. It's a quince. Why? You're gonna condemn all of humanity to hell. Eh. God's gonna have to come save us. Oh, we're all screwed. <laughs> there it is, folks. Original sin reenacted by Lindsay, aka Eve. <laughs> this is the Navajo Bridge. It was built in the 1920s and basically the ended the need for Lee's Ferry. So it's a pedestrian only bridge and you can still walk across it. Lindsay's no, scared of bridges no like jumping, these. But no jumping. No yeah. jumping. I thought this was how you go 3,000 feet into the Colorado River. Oh, it is beautiful. There's your rafts. So I joked about Lindsay being afraid of the bridge, but really I was the one that was afraid of the bridge. There were some gusts out there that were crazy. And if you know, Lindsay's a foot and some two or three inches shorter than me. So if the wind were to blow her really strong, she was just gonna blow like up into the into the side of the bridge and she wasn't gonna blow over. But me, this big noggin of mine is like three feet over the top. And like I was I was worried, I'm so top heavy. I got big gusts and I'm like, I'm falling 3,000 feet. I could have landed in one of those rafts, so that would have been cool. Yeah. Then I could have gone on the trip of a lifetime. Yeah, and it had to take you. Yeah. Now I'm going to take the vitamins and supplements of a lifetime. <laughs> brought to you by, just kidding, we're not sponsored by anybody. <laughs> but I am going to take my vitamins and supplements now so I can stay healthy as can be. 40 never looks so good. A little gray here, a little gray here. I already lost the hair back at 23. Yep. All right, let's get on the road. Where are we going now? Going to Page. Page, where we promised to go yesterday. We're going now. Yeah. Let's go. So we're at Antelope Point Marina, which a couple years ago we set the internet on fire with our post about how to kayak or to paddleboard yeah. to Antelope Canyon. COVID shut everything down. The only way that you could actually get into the canyon during COVID time was the kayak or paddleboard. Was the kayak or paddleboard. So our post blew up, our video blew up. If you've seen it, if you came to us because of it, awesome. Hope you enjoyed it. If not, you can't put it on your bucket list anymore. Yeah, we're here to update you. Yeah. So. It looks like there's zero water. We're gonna go check it out. Um, but yeah. they pretty much drained Lake Powell to send all the water to Lake Mead. Apparently. Apparently. It's still crazy windy, so maybe we'll get blown off this dock. I don't know if we get blown off the dock, we're gonna fall 3,000 feet into the dirt because apparently there's no water here. There is, I think it's just a very small amount. So apparently they, so they like redid this entire parking lot. And they added an RV park, a really nice RV yeah, park. Yeah, it looks, looks pretty um, awesome. It looks completely different. <laughs> we were here in 2019. It looks totally different, like crazy different. Does uh, like not even recognizable. Anyways. Time to update that post. Yeah, it is. <laughs> we're gonna go check it out. Come along with us. Well, it didn't look right because it weren't right. Yeah. We're so, at the wrong spot. <laughs> yeah, it looks completely different because we're not in the right spot. We're not in the right place. <laughs> Good thing we wrote that post and we're experts at this. <laughs> I know. So, we're going to go to the right spot. Yeah, so we ended up, this is the Antelope Point Marina, which apparently is different than the Antelope Point Boat Launch. So, so we're going to go to the boat launch. Yeah. Marina looks pretty desolate. It does. It's like a, yeah. But it's got a cool RV park. Yeah. Let's go. We just pulled into the Antelope Point Boat Launch. And it is exactly how we remembered it, except that the boat launch is closed to motorized boats. You can still put in a kayak or a paddleboard here. Um, the water is not as low as I expected it to be. You can still see the water. It is below the boat ramp. Um, so we're gonna walk down there and show you. Um, I'm sure they have something in place to where you can still easily uh, put in launch your kayak or your paddle board but we're gonna go check I it out. I want to paddle it again. Yeah we kind of do. I really want to know how low the water is to Antelope Canyon because you're probably paddling less and hiking more to get to it I'm sure. Uh, but I'm curious but we only have one we don't have our kayak anymore we only have one paddle board and we have another dog 
So it would be two of us and two dogs. I don't know if I want to do that. Oh, I want to correct myself really quickly because I may have misspoke. Actually, I know I misspoke. I know a lot about a little and a little about a lot. And uh, so Lake Mead is not actually stealing all of Lake Powell's water. They're sharing it kind of sort of all the, the states along the Colorado River are kind of sort of sharing it. Um, we'll see how that goes. Actually, it's not our politics to get involved with. But what, <clears throat> what I found out is Lake Powell is at 30% of its full capacity, which is crazy low. They're actually thinking next year with any less rain, any more drought, the next year they will not be able to supply power using the dam which is the whole reason why they built the hydroelectric dam so that's a big deal because that is a huge amount of energy supplied to a large population of people that will not get power from there they'll get power from somewhere else which will be incredibly expensive and probably drain environmental resources elsewhere all that said i just want to correct myself the water level lindsay and i guesstimate is probably 80 feet lower like vertically 80 feet lower than what it was when we were there two years ago. Um, absolutely incredible how much water is missing from Lake Powell. But you can still kayak it if you like. You can still paddleboard. You just have to crawl like 80 feet or hike 80 feet down to the water where the water is now and then begin your journey. It's so windy out there. Uh, we decided we're not even going to consider it. We would sink with two people, two puppies, and some snacks on our paddleboard. Anyway, we have made it to Walmart. Mm. On our way to Wally World, we're going to set up camp and not really sure what we're going to do. This wind has been crazy and it really takes a joy out of exploring. So I think we're just going to hole up in Walmart and call it a day. But we'll let you know what happens. I think what's supposed to happen today? Shower. 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 Shower day. Shower day. <laughs> yeah. We have been boondocking. We, we kind of stretch our limits on boondocking um, while we were in the Sedona area. And it was, I think, seven days. So we have a very small water tank, yeah. much My smaller than I would like, 30 gallons-ish. Lindsay's hair apparently is filthy. She's making sure we know how filthy it is. She thinks, and if there are ladies, but I know only 33% of our audience is female. So uh, ladies, is it true that if you put a hat on, it makes your hair clean? That's what, it's, that's it's what you wear a hat, it. right? It hides it. Oh, it hides it. But what about this? I can see dirt in there. That's not as bad. It's I can't top, actually. I can't. All. I can't actually see dirt in your hair. Nobody can see dirt in your hair. It's the top. It gets all greasy. Anyway, we're gonna. We're gonna. We're gonna splurge. Paige is incredibly RV friendly, so we have filled up on water, and we're gonna take a shower sometime today, and then we're gonna go dump our gray tank, and then we're gonna fill up with water again before we go explore somewhere else. But we haven't had a shower and a proper shower. I say proper in our RV shower, in a week. So it's time to do that because mm -hmm. you stink. Thanks. You smell. You smell bad. You smell bad. <laughs> you smell awful. Yeah, I smell pretty bad. <laughs> I, sm I smell right. <laughs> We're not going to show you the shower part, but I'll show you what's in the shower. And now for the tour of our arboratorium or garden. That's a fancy word for garden. AKA shower. Yep. Yeah. Lindsay's got a forest growing in there. All that's got to come out in order for us to shower. So, I'm going to start moving the forest out. We told you it is shower day. Exciting. It's also bacon day. Lindsay's doing breakfast for dinner, which is my favorite meal of breakfast and dinner, <laughs> which works out very, 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 very good. Um, we're, we're the only people here at Walmart. It's, uh, it's interesting. We're in Page, and we figured there'd at least be another RV or two. Um, but it turns out it's us and like 47 other people. Maybe 47 other RVs. If the wind weren't ripping at 55 mile an hour right now, we would uh, we throw the drone up. And you could see like it is like an RV dealership lot right now. Any kind of RV you want, class A, class B, class C. You want a DIY schoolie, uh, I mean, we got it here. You, you want a van? We got four different types of vans out there right now. And we got some DIY, like, made your own motorhome out there. It is, it's just, I mean, you want it? We got it here at the Page Walmart. You hear it first here at Call to Wander. Now we are at the car wash. New day, totally refreshed. 
shower I feel clean Lindsay do you feel clean yes dogs you clean. feel clean uh, they don't think they feel clean they never feel clean they're dogs the RV does not feel clean and so we're gonna go ahead and give her a bath all the salt and the sand and all the crud from Baja five months there gonna go far far away all the bugs on the front we're gonna make this thing look nice I'm excited it's gonna cost us a pretty penny I'm pretty sure oh, yeah. but it'll be worth every penny that we throw at it let's go get it done Just like that. Back in the driver's seat, passenger seat. What does that mean, Lindsay? We're going to Canab. Oh, I was just gonna say we're gonna drive, but you can be more specific. <laughs> we're going to Canab. Or Canab? Canab, I don't know. Or Canab? I call it Canab. Canab. Which means we're going to Utah. We got the urge to travel, and we didn't want to spend any more nights here at Walmart. Yeah. We have not overstayed our limit. Well, there's not really an official limit, but. But one night. Is we didn't want to overstay our welcome. So we're leaving Page, and we're gonna go to Canab, and we're gonna drive in the sun, so I'm not gonna be able to show you what that looks like. We're headed a little bit north and a little bit west. But when we wake up tomorrow, fun times. Hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah. We got a hike picked out. We'll see how it goes. Yeah. It's a little long, but. We'll see. Let's stop talking about the future. Yeah. Let's live in the present. Onward. <laughs>